Hi everyone, Mark Boy with you again out in the woods. Some of you may have already seen my rainwater harvesting video. I'm very grateful for all the people who've watched so far and I'm even more grateful for the people who have taken the time to comment and ask questions. Today I'm going to go into a little bit more detail about the collection process itself. What I do in this location to ensure that the, the water makes it into the tank. Now once again, I'd just like to remind everybody this isn't the only way to collect and store rainwater. This is what has worked for me. I'm just sharing what has worked for me these last 20 years or so. So the basis of the whole system is about 300 square feet of standard galvanized metal roofing. By lasts a long time, fairly easy to clean. In terms of water collection, the bane of my existence in this location is the detritus that constantly falls from the Douglas fir trees and the western red cedar trees. Those are the two species growing here. And we're surrounded by them, which is very nice. But from collecting water point of view, these uh, needles accumulate and tend to clog the gutter if you're not careful. So to prevent that, I have my Gutter Guard brand plastic mesh in place and the idea is that under the flow of falling water on the roof the needles are carried across over and off by the plastic mesh. What I found in the early days is that given a, a cold winter with snow and ice build up on the edge of the roof when the snow and ice melts it tends to take the gutter guard with it so I'll come back here and the gutter guard will be hanging down to prevent that happening, it seems to work, I've fastened the gutter guard, the plastic mesh, with the roofing screws to the edge of the roof so that it won't pull away with the effect of ice and snow. Now obviously some needles make it through into the gutter and as the water exits the gutter at this point here, I take a, a secondary preventive measure by taking some of the plastic mesh and just rolling it up into a, a, a loose cylindrical shape that when I stick it in the pipe it expands, fits the, fits the hole and whatever makes it through into the gutter is then prevented from going into the, uh, the coarser elements are prevented from going into the collection pipe. Water exits the gutter and then has to pass through the final stage, the third stage of filtration through a fine mesh filter before being stored in the main tank. The thing that I like about this filter in particular is that the bowl is transparent and you are able to see if the filter is clogged, dirty, needs replacing or cleaning. So in order to take care of that maintenance chore, we unscrew the bowl and the filter pops off. Right now the filter is pretty clean, but because of the transparency of the bowl, were it clogged or dirty, I would be able to see that. So in that case, I disassemble it and uh, just take whatever water remains in the bowl and give it a rinse like so, clean it off. In the bottom of the bowl, I have a small piece of solid chlorine, chlorine puck such as is used in uh, swimming pool and hot tub purification systems. So in one fell swoop, we have a mechanical filter to filter out fine particles, and we have the first stage of purification as the rainwater goes into the main storage tank. And so now we're all set with a clean filter and a chlorine puck in the bottom of the filter bowl ready to collect some more rain. Thanks again for watching. Keep the comments and questions coming. Love to hear from you all out there. And I'll see you next time.